a farewell to one who was innocent in its purest form. Tavoy Collins. At this time, I want to be. Hallelujah. At this time, to lead us further into this day's worship, Thanksgiving service, is our deaconess, Sister Viola.
Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, we do approach your mercy seat. Father God, we thank you, we adore you, we magnify your name. You know the occasion why we are here. So Father God, we thank you. Father God, here is the offering of your people. Oh God, just stretch their hands. Oh God, you see the needs. Oh God, that is dear for this offering. Father God, I pray that you will bless it. Sanctify it. Let it go to the extension of your children here on earth. Bless the givers. Help them, Lord God, that their store basket will never empty. Have thine own sweet way as we do say thanks. In the holy precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Is Sister Raja ready? You know, have a tribute from Raja Daly, who happens to be a wise son. And this will be followed by Sister Marja, I don't know how strong she is. Good morning, church. Relatives and friends, and little church and supporters of the family. I greet you all. The child is the beauty of God present in the world, that greatest gift to a family. The one lost child matters to the Lord. This is the remembrance of Tabor Cummings. Losing a loved one is arguably the hardest thing most people will go through. The loss of someone special and close to you, be that a friend, partner, or family member, is devastating. The grief we feel is all too real. When tragedy like this hits us, we try to find ways to feel better. Maybe seeking understanding or closure regarding that loss, or attempt to see others who share our pain. A memory is a faculty that which the mind stores and remembers information. Remembering someone is both bitter and sweet. While we laugh, while we watch the funny videos made, they also bring back painful feelings. The family will always remember him as a fun, jovial, helpful, and caring child. From Tavoy's parents. Tavoy's parents can remember him as a loving child. He would always want his food, no matter what, how bitter or how sweet the food was. He enjoyed eating whatever was prepared. He would always ask his parents for one hundred dollars to purchase popsicle. The green one was his favorite. He was his father's favorite person, and his father was his favorite also. For Tamar, that is his father, Tamar was never wrong. He made sure he was not lacking in anything as such. Whenever he asked for something, he made sure that he bought it. Grandparents. Grandma Cynthia remembers her grandson as a helpful child. To her, Tamar was the favorite grandchild. Sorry, Jane. Tamar would also share everything he ate with her, and it went both ways. Tamar will always take good care of her, especially after she did her surgery and came home from the hospital. Tamar will ask her regularly, Mommy, do you want water? Or he would say, let me do something for you. Grandma calls. Whenever I told him to let me bathe him, he would always demand that he bathe himself because he's a big boy. For Grandpa Johnny, Tamar was very rude as most children are sometimes. Grandpa always held the hope that when Tavoy got a little older, he would take over the farm and take care of the pigs. Grandfather Casper will always visit Tavoy, and one memory that stands out to him is when a friend told him that Tavoy said, you know that I'm going to my grandfather's wedding with daddy? I'm going to wear my bad shoes and nice clothes. Grandmother Elaine never held a physical relationship with a boy as she's living overseas. However, distance could not stop them from building a genuine bond. 
They would always talk on the phone even before a couple of seconds, as someone could not stay still. He was always a busybody. Tavoy's aunts, Marshall and Victoria, they remember their nephew as being a caring, jovial, helpful, and loving child. He was such a gentleman. Marsha always remembers how every evening when she got home from work, Tavoy and Jay would see the car coming and would go run outside and show Auntie, come! He would ask, Auntie, let me put me a door for you.
The children around the community will be Samoy dearly. Samoy shared a special bond with them. Their last member of him was the Saturday before he died. They all played the God's war and they enjoyed themselves greatly. Samoy may be gone from our sides, but never from our hearts. The loving memories of Samoy will continue to bring us comfort and because of them, he will forever remain alive in our memories. May his soul rest in peace and perpetual light shine down upon him. Amen.
He 
keep his a young soldier at heart. He was a very foodie young man. I remember when my girlfriend from abroad came here and we had some snacks, including sweets. He came to visit me while his dad was here. He had a pack of rainbow gummies. Oh my God, it was like his most favorite of them all. While we all were chit-chatting and wasn't paying attention to the consumption of all these gummies, Tom I almost finished them all. We have to stop him halfway. That's why we have to watch the, um, the sugar he consumed. I remember one day when Tom White had seen his mom brought his clothes. His dad was here and Tom White was wearing his shirt back and front. <laughs> we laughed and then we took it off and said it right away. It's like at that time he had no care what the people has to say. He just had to go on the road to see his dad because his dad, he loved his dad so very much. His dad made the world him. If we are going somewhere and like driving, you know, come by, I always want to be very nice. I remember that time my dad promised Tabai a plum. And Tabai seen my father and said, Go and try. Where you plum then? And my dad said, We are taking it, man. Tabai responded, We are again. <laughs> we, we smile. It's so sad that. At a young age, the last is wonderful, son of a wife. But I know that he is a little bit of a This morning, when I went up with us, I cried. But I cried because I'm happy. I'm happy in a way where he hasn't lived any life as yet, but God has not has a plan for him. We are all sitting and come sharp in glory. But Tobai Shahi, your Godfather, rest in peace, my son. Rest in peace, the Lord.
Monday I was leaving early. So whenever I leave school early, I have to take him to Mrs. Soul's or Miss Daniels and say, okay, see me that Papa, I stay here with you because you know who I'm ready. And I said, Papa, tell me, I gave him an assignment. I said, tell me who is here in my class. So the other day when I came to school, I said, who is here?
a special part in our program. And our pastor, Reverend Grant, will be coming to us. But just before he comes, the young people from the Grand New Testament of our God, they will be doing an item.
Thank you, young people, come on this side, please. Young people, hello. I need you, I need you. I need you. Brother Diamond, I need you to some monitors, please. A pleasant good afternoon, brothers and sisters, family circumstances. I want to extend condolences to the bereaved family members. And I want you to know that you are not the only one who have lost a son. All of us have lost a son laying before us today. The school, the church, the community, all of us. It is not God's plan for parents to bear their children. But could I invite like you all to stand with me, please? Jesus loves the little children. Come on, young people. Hello. Jesus loves the little children. You know what? Jesus loves the little children. in all except one or two of my pastors is always in 
very volatile community, and I was born and raised in one. I've never, I've, I've buried hundreds of young men dying by the bomb, and none has ever impacted me like this little baby's death. Where did we get 
Hello. Sixty-one years old. Spent most of her life in Armstrong. Hello. And that's a bad man be here. Bad man don't kill children. Be here, bad man be here. I think I know what you are.
never deserve to die. Never deserve to die by a foolish man's bullet. Never deserve to die like this. Children are heritage of the Lord. Children, God uses children at all times to bring out a lesson to his disciples and to his people. Unless you become like a little child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So for the little children to come unto me, I can be dead. Yeah. 
did this, you will never get away. You will never get away. And I want to say to you, whoever did this, that the blood of Jesus is against you. And unless you repent, you shall die the death of a sinner and go to a devil's hell where you really belong.
has to stop. People have to know that killing each other is not the answer. Because they love somebody. It doesn't matter. You know who gets hurt? John Brown have a gun and Tom Strokes have a gun. John Brown shoot Tom Strokes and kill. You know who is hurting? The parents, the loved ones, the relatives, the community. Who they are the ones that are hurting?
Stands and the taker. Listen. We are only facilitating his father. No. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Nothing of 
supposed to be in school or not? Or if it makes sense. In fact, everyone here is probably asking why this had to happen. But the awful truth is that crime and violence does not discriminate. The old and the young are taken by this terrible monster that has been unleashed upon us and our society. However, we don't want the boys dead to be just another statistic. We want you all to leave here today and be thankful for your messy house. Be thankful for the entire room. Be thankful for getting a child ready for school. Be thankful for attending PTA meetings. For helping with homework and other assignments. Be thankful for your loving, miserable child. Bothering your home team times. We will give you to experience the world once more. You will give for the world comings. It must have been a whole moment for Tamika and Tamar, but more so Tamika. You see, her only child, Jay, was almost five years old. To be exact, Jay is five years, one month, and 14 days older than Kaboy. Kaboy Cummings made his grand appearance August 28, 2017. This was a big thing in this small family. This was a special child. It's every man's dream to father a son. And this may Timar Tavantaboy. This created a great bond. His father was his world and vice versa. They went everywhere. The boy was how his dad gonna be richer than Uncle Donovan. So it was now three teams, Timar, Tamika, and Tabor. He was an exceptional child. He had such beautiful, captivating eyes. You couldn't help but admire. Tabor was christened right here on this altar. This was his church. He was always taken to church by his dear grandmother, Sister Cynthia Stern. And he became a part of our Sunday school. In his short time, he attended FTH Youth Fellowship with Auntie Marsha and Uncle Donovan. The boy was such an inquisitive, always wanting to know child. The house, the wife, and they better have an answer that satisfies his curiosity. The boy was the entertainer of the family. Once a year, the song dirt, the boy would pounce. That was the boy. The boy loved his mother. He would run errands for her. However, his favorite pastor was watching Nikki and Black. And to Marsha, remember, because he had a lips. So he could order big speed to find his movies. And so he would get frustrated and ask Auntie Marsha, why big speed not responding to him? Was an ex 
section of our child. There are many jokes, but the one that stood out most of all was the night after Marshall was looking at car wash. And because it was late and the Marshall couldn't find one. So the boy suggested someone.
to all the families to please together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be over great Jehovah. Pilgrim through this loving land. Lord, we are weak, but far and strong, and God Almighty. Will you hold us with thy powerful hand? In times like this, we need a savior. In times like this, we need an uncle. Help us to be very sure of our alcohols and drink the sun around. Father God, here are your children as they gather, oh God, to gather around this casting. Lord God Almighty, they are grieving, they are mourning. Help them to understand that your word is clear that we pay them. May they go for it now. But joy coming in the morning. Father God, I pray, oh God, for the mother and the father. Oh God Almighty, that you wrap your arms around them, especially at this time. Oh God, even at their going through their time of action. Lord, your word is clear that in the time of action, you will hide us in your pavilion and in the secret place of your that we shall do by us. I pray God that you will comfort those that are burning at this time. Father God, I pray God Almighty that you help us to realize and understand that in the midst of life we are in death and it's appointed unto man once to die without this coming judgment. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, that you will cover them with your blood. I pray God that you will
ya, ya está marihuana. No.
Sorry, sorry, sorry. They go see if they have a couple of They can't tell you. Come on, come Come behind me, Come all right, sorry. Yeah, the pass on it. 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 Come on, come on, come on, Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. This is the light of mine for the program. Hey, Johnny, are you real with Paddy? Yo, 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 relax, yo, 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 so church, church persons, please help me. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may be dead, he may die, he shall live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. And now to the loving care of our Heavenly Father. We commend the spirit of this departed child. Commit to boy coming body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You may see you. You can go ahead. Jenny! 